Good evening. St. Paul continues his letters to Timothy, giving instructions on public prayer. Timothy, my son, I give you this instruction in keeping with the prophecies once made about you, so that by following them you may fight the good fight. I urge then, first of all, that requests, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for everyone, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all men to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all men, the testimony given in its proper time. And for this purpose, I was appointed a herald and an apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying, and the teacher of the true faith to the Gentiles. I want men everywhere to lift up holy hands in prayer without anger or disputing. Let us pray. Tonight, my Father, I pray for the Prime Minister and Cabinet Ministers and all who are in authority to rule this country with your divine wisdom and understanding and to show justice and mercy to all its peoples. My Father, use this country for your glory and as a springboard to spread the good news to our neighbors. Thank you for hearing this prayer, my Lord, because I pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.